Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. We have a couple new characters that have recently just been data mined. Now we don't know if these are from the next patch or patch after or something like that. Sometimes they like to add things in a little bit earlier like we saw with Red Guardian and like we saw with Yelena and other times it seems to be like they just add them in the patch before. So there's kind of a couple of different possibilities here but let's go through them. So the first character that was data mined was White Tiger. Now this is very interesting. She is known to kick around with the defenders. She's definitely a city hero. So there's potential that she is that new city hero that uh, they did talk about uh, recently when they're talking about Punisher, uh, switching over to the Skilletary team. So she could be the new Defenders member. She's also a part of the current Defenders, I believe. Although Defenders in the comics is very different to Defenders in the game and very different to Defenders in the movies. Um, so there's potential that she is going to be that kind of fifth Defender-ish character. Um, so she's kind of really interesting. In the uh, in the comics at the moment, I don't believe she has her powers, but typically her powers are coming from these mystical amulets um, that she has. Uh, there was a previous uh, White Tiger, and then she ended up with them after that. Um, and those powers are essentially kind of just like the standard, typical kind of... Um, like comic book powers, like enhanced strength, enhanced speed, durability, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then she also has uh, extra healing, uh, animal uh, animal senses, as well as well as camouflage that allows her to blend in when she's perfectly still. So there's potential that we're going to have some kind of stealth in her kit. I suspect that she's definitely going to be a, hot, a brawler or a heavy damage character. The defenders are kind of going to be missing that after you've got Punisher leaving to go over to the Skilletary team. So there's a kind of a an, an area that she needs to fill in there, specifically in regards to those uh, being a damaging character. Um, so I definitely suspect Brawler and I definitely suspect a high damage character. Um, I'm not sure if she's going to have synergy with any of them, potentially uh, like maybe with Iron Fist because they're both kind of mystical characters. I suspect she's also going to be a new mystic character. So that would be good to kind of get that out to start off the year strong with some new Mr. Character, seeing as last year we only got like one and a half because we got uh, more and then we got Doom, Doom only being half Mystic. Um, so it would be good to start out the year with some more Mystic characters. Now, the other one I am much more excited for, um, but that's obvious because it's an X Men character, is Bishop. Now, this is in the uh, predefined kind of teams that Strike Force adds in there. Um, and you've got here, you can see Iceman, Jubilee, Beast, Kitty Pride, and finally, right down here in the bottom, Bishop. So that's interesting because obviously Bishop isn't a character that exists in the game at the moment. Um, and he is a character that I would really like to see. So his powers are essentially he absorbs energy. So any kind of energy that's thrown at him, he can absorb it. And then he kicks it back out through his guns or just by pushing it out of him kind of thing. He actually isn't from the main Marvel universe either. Uh, you guys know Days of Future Past where in the future they kind of had to send somebody back because they got wiped out by the Sentinels and stuff. He was actually in the Days of Future Past movie as well. I recently watched that and he's in there in the, um, in the future scenes. Um, He's uh, came from there, went back in time to the main universe to basically say, hey guys, you need to avoid this. Um, this shit's going to go down. You may make sure it don't happen. Um, and then he was also, while he was back there, basically in the future, there was one character who he thought uh, had betrayed them, um, who was called like the, the Wanderer, I believe it was. Uh, the... The witness, the witness, and he believed that that was Gamut. So when he came back in time, he was all shitty at Gamut because he's like, oh, in the future, you betray us. Turned out it wasn't Gamut. Um, he was kind of uh, a bit abrupt with them at the start, um, but he ended up turning around. He's actually in the most recent run for um, the Marauders, working alongside Kitty Pride, alongside Iceman. So it's interesting that those characters all ended up uh, in this uh, new astonishing team. I suspect that they'll probably go with more this kind of look here. Um, 
the M obviously on his eye is very, um, very key because that's kind of signifying for the future where he got tattooed because he's a mutant. Um, the red scarf as well is typically a thing that's always on him. So I definitely suspect that they'll kind of go that direction. Um, I, I'm really excited for him because of the way they could kind of do his kit. Um, there's a lot of different ways they can uh, kind of have him in there. I suspect that he's going to be a, um, like a, blaster combined with like a controller kind of thing um in regards to like his blast like it would be a blaster but then could extend debuffs um or something like that because obviously we know that jubilee um being a legendary is most likely going to have blinds due to the fact that in here uh in kitty pride's passive it says heal the most uh on enemy miss and there's currently nothing that makes the enemies miss so I definitely suspect that Jubilee is going to obviously do blinds. It's kind of like a thing as well, like fireworks, blinding people kind of thing. Um, and then having Bishop coming along, being able to extend out debuffs and stuff, I think would be really cool um, alongside just providing a lot more damage for them. Because I suspect that damage is the thing that they're going to be missing um, between Beast, Kitty and Iceman. They don't do mega amounts of damage. Um, Jubilee, I suspect, will do decent amounts, but then have Bishop being that kind of heavy damaging character um, to kind of come along and just manipulate the battlefield that's already kind of being slowed and stuff by Iceman. I do, I do really like Bishop, so I am kind of excited for it. Now, what this kind of means for Gambit and Rogue, I'm not sure. There's still rumors floating around that they're going to be coming in uh, February for Valentine's Day, uh, whether they're going to be astonishing. Maybe they're astonishing and um, they're like on the astonishing team and they're like the non-raid option. So they replace Kitty and Iceman um, to be like bringing them into war offense or something like that. Maybe they're just playing X-Men and they have synergy with all the different X-Men. Maybe they're on the uh, uncanny team. Who knows? I definitely do think that there could be seven characters on this astonishing team. Uh, I'm going to be holding out to see what exactly happens before I go investing too much into people. Uh, but I am excited to see exactly what happens there. Um, as for what Bishop does, in Avengers Alliance, which is what I suspect they kind of are going to draw on. He kind of, um, his ability and manipulation, so he takes half damage from um, certain amounts of certain kinds of damage and then gets extra turns from them, which I suspect could be something that can work into it. I think that he's going to have similar to kind of like a, um, like a Negasonic's passive where he gains uh, like a passive shield or something like that per enemy turn. Um, just kind of, I do think that he's going to be a very hardy character for a blaster. I think he's going to be um, definitely be going to be helpful there. I do think that charge is going to be something that can um, kind of work in there as well. Uh, but I'd love to hear from you guys what you think of both Bishop and uh, White Tiger. I think they're both really cool characters that are really, I'm looking forward to seeing them in the game. I'm obviously a little disappointed if Gambit and Rogue don't come, but I kind of have got to the point that I'm kind of expecting them not to just because I want them so badly. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you guys think. That's it for today. Have a great day and Merry Christmas.